There goes a good man. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Brat Pack gym. Listen, I earlier today went to Mark Edding's incredible Simpsons funeral home. Mark and I have been friends for a long time and have such respect for how he's involved in this community and what he does as a true professional. But I spent time with the Biagiani family, a family that I have known for many years, obviously because of my son and his mother. I wanted to give my respects via social media to them because of the loss of Ernie Biagiani. My relationship goes back to the late 80s, early 90s, when I got to meet his father, Dominic, and his mother, Josephine. And when his father was in the hospital, and one of the last times I saw him, here was a man who was a proud Italian immigrant who worked on the railroad for decades that I got to know. I simply said to myself, there goes a good man. And here I was today, all of these decades later, saying the same thing about Ernie. Ernie's brother, Joe, obviously a dear friend, his wife, Kathy, their children, and of course, the three surviving sisters, and also the sister that, well, it has been a very long time. She passed away, but I knew her and her son many years ago, Donnie Gloria Biagiani. Ernie Biagiani was a man of very few words. He truly loved Freedom, Pennsylvania, a place that my grandfather actually had a business many years ago, Emmerich Bango, that Joe Biagiani actually worked at. If there is really such a place as hometown USA and a view from a front porch that is really worth sitting in that rocking chair, it is freedom. And boy, did Ernie love every minute of it. The homestead, his Italian heritage, and he, like Brother Joe, with hammer in hand, there wasn't anything they couldn't fix. So even though it has been decades since I had a chance to speak to that quiet man, Ernie Biagiani, I just wanted to give my thoughts and prayers to the family and let them all know that they are still, after all of these years, very important to me. And when you connect all of the dots, cross the T's, dot the I's, it just goes to prove we live in a very small world. But there are people that make a big difference. And even though he was a man of few words, he did make a big difference because he met a lot of good people along the way. And I'm sure they would say the very same thing about him. A good man with a big heart, Ernie Biagiani. Folks, have a great rest of your day from the Pratt Pat Gym. Good afternoon.